this human body. Some theologians say that it was one further, and it was one more, even more, and that is the Blessed Mother. So not only are you going to worship God, man, united, but I am going to elevate not a divinity, but a pure human in a natural body above you as my mother. And she will be called the queen of all the angels. So, ah, what the heck? I can understand worshiping divinity and honoring and serving divinity. I'm not going to honor and serve a human, pure human above me. I'm the most brilliant of all creation. And this would kind of go along with the idea that who did Satan tempt first in the garden? He went to the woman. Oh, is this the woman that you're going to put above me? I'll show you about this woman. So that's a possibility there. But we know for a fact that Satan hates Mary, even if that's not the case, because the incarnation. Everything was going smoothly until she said yes, because once Jesus came on the scene, it was over. He's not going to fail. He's God. He's going to get his agenda completed, whether Satan likes it or not. So there are three instances of the angels. The first instance is their creation. The second instance was their probation. So they were given a certain knowledge. They didn't have to say, well, let me see. All eternity? Well, I don't know. There's fire? No, I don't know about that. They didn't have to think about it. They knew exactly what the circumstances were, and some said, no thanks. And then Michael said, who is like unto God? And they were cast into hell. So that was their test. So our probation is our entire life. I have my entire life, I don't know when I'm going to die, but to make my choice. And only after I die is my choice final. Well, the angels don't need a lifetime to figure it out. Angels knew it instantaneously, and so they made their choice that they can't go back on it. And so the third act of the angels is now either eternity in hell or eternal beatitude. So our angels now are in that third instance where they are actually in the beatific vision, experiencing the glory, the majesty, the overwhelming joy, the overwhelming just beatitude of what heaven is that we have no way of expressing in human terms. But the devils, they were cast out of wherever this probationary period was, and they are suffering the fires of hell, but they suffer it kind of like a cloud that goes with them everywhere. So they are roaming around the world, roaming throughout the earth, seeking to devour souls, seeking to bring about their ruin. So I said that their other sin besides pride was envy. Envy at what? Envy at you and envy at me. So their number one desire, their number one goal is to get us to burn in hell for eternity with them. We're going to talk about the ordinary activity of devils.